On a game of the week, South Caldwell and Hickory. Yes, we're looking at you. Russ Owens and Ambassador Hand have the call. Let's start with the girls. Hickory trying to stay unbeaten on the season and getting it done early and often against South Caldwell. Yaz Hanna leading the Red Tornadoes with 24 points. She nails one of many threes early on. The other side, though, Callie Raby for South Caldwell with a shot from distance of her own. Way too much Hickory in this game. This time from the outside, it's Ansley Rooks for three. Hickory rolls South Caldwell, 59-25. We changed some things up in our press, which I think was very effective, contained them well, made it very difficult for them to even get the ball up the court. Let's take it over to the boys. Hickory would have a little trouble with South Caldwell tonight. Early on, the big dunk inside from Michael Linebarger. On the other end, though, South Caldwell trying to stay in this thing. Cameron Kincaid will help. He nails the jumper. Too much hickory on the other end. The fantastic alley-oop layup by D'Angelo Beatty for two of his team high 18 points. Pulling away in the second half, hickory is again Dylan Beaver this time from the outside. Nails the three. Hickory, a big win over South Caldwell. The clean sweep tonight for the Red Tornadoes, 84-42. Sometimes when you get the lead, it's easier for the kids to be unselfish and share the basketball. We just brought it to the table and just stepped to the table and took care of business. We just came out here and just did what we had to do. That is a fourth straight win for the Red Tornadoes. They improved to 15 and 2 on the season and more importantly, stay in the conference lead. Reporting from Hickory High School at our Game of the Week, I'm Russ Owens for NBC's Charlotte Sports. Good job there, Russell, the girls' side of things.